Hello everyone, it's Stephanie. My YouTube channel is Lucky Snugs, and today I'm going to show you a couple of decorated matchboxes that I've made for a swap on a Facebook group. This first one is in an envelope that I've decorated myself, and the secret to doing patterns like this is you do the flowers and the leaves in color first, and then you go over them with a fine-tipped black pen and outline it and that outline is really what's going to define the shape and it was remarkably easy I have to say so color first and then outline so this is the first matchbox that I made when you mail matchboxes they frequently get crushed in the mail so you need to provide a little bit of support and protection for them for this one I just cut a 1 by 8 inch strip out of a Diet 7 Up box I taped it into a circle shape and then I just kind of pinched the corners into a rectangle shape and it'll just ship like this and it should be fine. I also use the little white boxes that you can get in the jewelry section at craft stores and those work really well too. I just didn't have any this time. So this theme is Coca-Cola. I painted the matchbox black. I have a tutorial on my channel on how to decorate matchboxes that explains it in a little more detail but basically I just painted the matchbox black and then wrapped it in scrapbook paper and then I put a coca-cola bottle cap embellishment on it that I purchased at a scrap bookstore years ago and then a Martha Stewart gem as a drawer pull and when you open it up you'll see inside are little tiny coca-cola bottles they're so cute. I bought these in the dollhouse section of the craft store, which I had never thought of looking at before. Usually I would just put beads and sequins in my matchboxes, but I'm definitely going back to the dollhouse section because they have so many cute, tiny little things that will work really well for going in a matchbox. And if I take the bottles out, you can see that I decorated the bottom of the drawer with Coca-Cola scrapbook paper again and just painted the inside of the box black. I'll show you the rest of the swap. Just the extras that I put in. A note to the recipient. Always a nice thing to do. Some die cut flowers. A roll of washi tape that has pineapples on it. I think it's really cute. And just a couple of charms that can go on a flip book or anything else. It's a, a metal tassel and a black rose. So that's it for this one. I'll show you the other one that I did. Again, I decorated the envelope myself and you just draw the leaves and flowers on first in color and then outline them and you get a really nice sharp image. The theme for this matchbox is little Bo Peep. Again, I made the structure support there. I used the uh, Graphic 45 Mother Goose paper collection for this. I really like Graphic 45's papers. They're just so color saturated. So this is a stamp that was on one of the pages that I just cut out. Again, I painted the box black and then wrapped it in scrapbook paper. Here's another image from one of the 45 Graphic 45 pages. And the drawer pull is just a little pearl. And when you open it up, there's a little sheep inside. And then I don't I don't know how to pronounce these Shawafki crystals. And that's it. That's all that's inside. I'll show you the extras. Some little envelopes that extra, uh, little extras and die cuts can go into if she's making a flip book. The recipient of this swap is not feeling very well, so I included a, a little more extras than I normally do and tried to find things that really are, are uh, low effort. You know, she can use these K and Company bird stickers, and they're just ready to go. She can just put them right on the page. The pineapple washi tape.
and another roll of, of uh, dotted washi tape. And then a note. So that's it, my matchbox swap. If you want to see a little more information on how to make a matchbox, a decorated matchbox for swapping, I do have a tutorial on it on my YouTube channel here at Lucky Snugs. So check it out if you're so inclined. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.